I saw that you said earlier today, in fact, that you feel like you're in, in the back nine of your career, right? What, what else is there for you to accomplish out there? Well, we need to win some more Super Bowls uh, to satisfy our fans, the uh, team that we put together over the years. We've come up a little short. Uh, so we got to get, get ourselves back to that situation where we're in, you know, like last year, where we're in the, the game to get in, and then we got to take care of business. And being here tonight, what is your favorite part of this evening? I just love seeing uh, just the stars in other sports. Uh, it's fun to see, uh, to be feel really tiny next to the basketball guys. <laughs> I got to see my main man, Zaza Patchouli, outside. Anybody who follows me on Instagram knows my uh, affection for him and his game. And so I stepped off out of my car. Zaza's standing right there. You know it's going to be a good night when you start off a night like that. What was the conversation like with Zaza? Well, I got to know him when he was in Milwaukee. I'm a big Milwaukee Bucks fan and Sacramento Kings fan from my youth. Uh, so I got to know him and, and a number of guys over the years on the Bucks, and I just loved just his aggression and his attitude and his approach to the game and have been following him ever since and got to see him when I was at Game 5 a few weeks ago um, and made sure that he appreciated the uh, Instagram shout-out, which he did. I was rocking a Zaza jersey, shooting some mid-range jumpers. Um, but it's always good seeing uh, the athletes in other sports and, and uh, just paying your respect. You are all over social media. You're also all over at these different sporting events, right? Tell me a little bit about what you've done this offseason that's been a lot of fun for you. I'm just a huge sports fan. So being able to go to, whether it's golf tournaments, the Kentucky Derby, I take a number of my teammates every year. Um, I play in a golf tournament later this week in, in Lake Tahoe, which is a lot of fun. I played in the, a web.com event in South Carolina. I play in the Pebble Beach event uh, in Monterey, which is incredible. I just love being around sports. and This country is filled with so many great stories and athletes and events that are really fun to go to. So I try and hit up a few every offseason. Speaking sure. of events, the July 4th holiday just passed, and we've got a great photo, which I'm sure a lot of our viewers saw, of your, uh, your garb and what you decided to dress up and, and wear. Tell me about that decision. I'm very patriotic. And I was, yeah. out, <laughs> I was hanging with my godson and his parents. And uh, we wanted to make sure that we were looking as festive as possible to celebrate uh, the birthday of the United States of America, the greatest country in the world. So we mentioned earlier that, uh, well, actually I did not mention that you were tied with Peyton Manning for three awards, right? Best NFL player. And it is actually my honor, Aaron, to announce that you are this year's best NFL player. Congratulations. Yeah, Here is your SB. Right. Um, your reaction? They said it couldn't be done. They said it couldn't be done. Uh, and it, 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 you know what? I'd like to thank my Twitter followers, especially Ben Stiller for retweeting me, Jason Wildey for setting up the initial tweet, and all Packer Nation and all of our great fans out there for voting for me. Thank you very much. This is an award voted on by the fans. So if you don't appreciate it, vote against me next time. But those who voted for me, thank you so much.